Hey there, Phil Chill here, and today I will be doing a showcase about all of the aquariums that you can get in the 1.5 update. I think that the aquariums are the best thing that happened in Stardew Valley because now all of the fish will have a purpose. You won't have to keep all of the fish in chests, as now you can have it swim around your room. One of the first aquariums that we can get is this small one that we can buy from Willy's shop. This small aquarium can be used in combinations with other small aquariums to combine in something big. This can be used for some people if they want to make some interesting layouts in their houses. I only wish that we could fit at least two fishes inside, since having one fish in one aquarium seems a bit wasteful. The next aquarium we have is the one which is a bigger version from the one we saw before, and you can also acquire this one from Willy's shop. This one is double the size of the one that we saw before, and it can hold more fish. This one holds 3 fish and more decorations. These two aquariums are unlocked with the 1.5 update. Basically, you don't need to do anything to get them. You can use both of them, the big and small, in combination, because they have the similar design and go well next to each other. Now for the next one we have a special one, which is the Deluxe Aquarium. This one is pretty special because you can't buy it with normal means. You first need to complete Willy's request on the special notice board that's built under the mayor's house. After completing this request, you will be granted in the mail a copy of the Deluxe Aquarium that you can use on your farm and also it will unlock it from Willy's shop as well as the furniture catalog. As you can see, this one is pretty well made and I quite like the design of it. It can fit 4 fish inside as well as a lot of decorations that you can use. At the end I will make a showcase of all of the filled aquariums that you can have. We also have another fish tank which has a unique look. It's called the modern fish tank and it can fit only one fish inside. The look is quite aesthetic as it seems like it's a window from a submarine. I'm not gonna lie, I quite like the look but the thing is if it's only meant for one fish, I don't quite see the purpose of it. If you buy a lot of these and line them up at the top of your house, you can make the house look like it's in a submarine. You can purchase this aquarium from the catalog that you buy at Robin's place. And I think a lot of players will find a use for it on their house. As for the last aquarium, which is the Aquatic Sanctuary, it's the biggest of all of the aquariums and you can get it from Mr. Key's reward shop. It sold for 20 key gems and is fairly easy to get. The aquarium is really big and it can hold up to 6 fish and a lot of decorations that you can put in it as well. The look is quite aesthetic and I quite like the wooden borders. Because of its size, you can have two of these in the living room if you remove the wall which will cover a huge area and you can store a lot of fish inside. I think that a lot of players will get this aquarium for their houses, only because of the number of fish that it can store. I think that this fish tank will work quite well in combination with the deluxe fish tank, because they look similar. Here we can see all of the aquariums side by side and how they look while they're empty. Here I have filled all of the aquariums with every kind of fish and also decorations that you can find, like seaweed. You can also use corals, uh, sea cucumbers, clams, periwinkles, snails even. Everything can work here. The sea cucumbers, snails, uh, crayfish, also the clams all belong to living decorations, while the seaweed and also the corals are like static decorations, they don't move. As we can see in the aquariums, the sea urchin sticks out a lot, it doesn't look quite well in the aquariums. The corals, for example, have like different variations. We have a green coral, we have a red one, and we have a blooming one, which is quite nice. The crayfish, the snail moves, and also when you sleep and wake up the next morning, you can see that the sea cucumbers 
and also clams have moved as well. I really quite like this whole idea of the aquariums being used in Stardew Valley because now you have a place for your fish and it can feel more alive when you're playing. Well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked it and found it helpful in choosing your own fish tank for your house. I would like to hear your thoughts about which is the best fish tank and which one are you gonna use on your playthrough. I'm still amazed about how many new things we got from this new update and I can't wait to explore it more. Thank you for watching and if you would like to see more, press that subscribe button and join my community, cause I'm planning on making more of this in the future.